Hello. Oh, hello. Hold up your hands. Can you show the same number of fingers on your hands? Can you use some other fingers to show the same number? And some others? The complement in ten of three is is seven and the complement in ten of seven is three what's the complement in ten of four And the complement in ten of six is seven small ones, three medium, and five long ones. Oh, Mary. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I've forgotten how many there are. Well, what are you trying to do? Well, I just want to work out how many small screws there are, how many medium ones, and how many big ones. Well, why don't you sort them out into large, medium, and small? Oh. Right. You can't count things when they're all muddled up. Hmm. That's no good. I suppose so. You try and count these, then you'll find out. Where? Ah, right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I keep moving about. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, ah. three, and two, Lulu. Four, four five, five, six, six and two, Lulu. Seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine and two, Lulu. Ten, ten and two, Lulu. One, two, three, and two, Lulu. Four, five, six, six and two, Lulu. Ah, uh, got it. One, two, three. Oh, hopeless. Hello. Now, what's she counting? And a bus. Twelve, thirteen, and a van. This machine counts cars. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, and twenty-four.
Hmm. Yeah, I see what you mean about counting. Now, uh, 20 small screws, wasn't it? Mm, and we've hmm. got 20 medium ones yeah. and 20 large ones. Good, good. Well, what are they for? Aha, uh -huh. it's a game. I've got a game. Yeah? It's a counting game. All you have to do is count the number of times you hear the three different sounds, okay? Okay. Now, these are the sounds. Right. Okay. Now, count the number of times you hear each one. Ready? Okay. One. Two of those. One of them. Crash. Three. Uh, two of those. Two crashes. Four. Four of them. Oh! Five crashes. Oh, Mary, <laughs> come on, that's ridiculous. How can I do that? Well, why don't you note them down? Make a tally or something like that. All right, worth a try. Now, there was um, a buzz. Mm -hmm. Buzz and a crash and a sort of uh, hoot. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, got Ready? it. Ready? Hmm? One. Two. Oh, this is easy. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> um, uh, oh. <laughs> Better? Well, a bit. Can you count the number of dots on the screen? Right, 20 medium screws. One each, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten each. Now then. Make seven. What? Go on, make seven. Pick some up and make seven. Look, all you have to do is guess how many more I need in here to make seven of them. No, no, you just guess. Five. Ah, ah, ah. Bad luck. Five and four makes nine, not seven. You lose, so you have to put one in the pool, in here. You get it? Not really. Well, look, I pick some up in my hand. Then you have to guess how many more you need in your hand, so both lots together make seven. If you get it right, you win all seven. But if you get it wrong, you have to put one in the pool in there. And then it's your turn. But you mustn't pick up less than what's in the pool. Or more than seven. Or more than seven. Or less than what's in the pool. For instance, I mean, suppose we've been playing for a while and I've got, um, six. And there's, uh, six in the pool, and that leaves you with eight. Okay, now it's your turn. So you can only pick up six or seven, right? Go on, then. Okay. Don't look. Would I? Make seven. Uh No. Nothing in six makes six, not seven. Right, I lose, so one in the pool. Oh. Hey, that makes seven in the pool. That's a problem. Well, what do we do now? I don't know. I know. The one who put in last, mm. making it seven, yeah. gets the lot. Oh, I like that rule, yes. Oh. Oh. 
this is the third part of the story about the line that was very in love with the dot, who wasn't at all in love with him. Still the line tried, and tried again, to turn himself into something a bit more exciting. He continued trying and failing, and trying again, until, when he'd all but given up, he discovered at last that with great concentration and self-control, he was able to change direction and bend wherever he chose. So he did, and made an angle. And then again, and made another. And then another, and then another, and then another, and then another, and then... For months he practiced in secret. Soon he was making squares and triangles, hexagons, parallelograms, rhomboids, polyhedrons, trapezoids, parallelopipeds, decagons, tetragrams, and an infinite number of other complex shapes. But all his successes meant nothing to him alone. And so, off he went to seek the dot once again. He doesn't stand a chance, muttered his rival, the Squiggle, in a voice that sounded like bad plumbing. But the line was bursting with old love and new confidence. Throughout the evening, he was by turns dazzling, mysterious, pretty, romantic, invisible, well, almost, and sparkling. The dot was overwhelmed. She giggled like a schoolgirl. <laughs> then she turned slowly to the squiggle. Well, she inquired, trying to give him every chance. The squiggle, taken by surprise, did the best he could. Is that all? she demanded. I guess so replied the miserable Squiggle. That is, uh, well, I suppose so. What I mean is, uh, I, I never know how it's going to turn out. The Dot wondered why she'd never noticed how hairy and coarse he was, and how untidy and graceless, and how he mispronounced his L's and picked his ear. You are as meaningless as a melon, she said coldly. Just one big mess. With that, she turned to the line, and shyly took his arm. Do the one with all the funny curves again, she cooed softly as they strolled away. And he did. And soon they did, and lived, if not happily ever after, at least reasonably so.